Welcome back to Flying with Brian, episode six. Today, I'm in a hotel room in lovely Calgary, Alberta, because uh, I forgot to film the intro before I left left home for work. So sorry about that. And some of the footage today is also in four to three ratio, and that was another user error with my new GoPro. Um, so a couple of apologies up front. Sorry, bear with me. Um, look at this. Uh, look at this weather system. I had to fly around yesterday to, to get here. Um, another massive storm system across the middle of the country. Just been a crazy year. To start the episode, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to three of my friends that are really uh, invaluable in getting this Taylor Craft project going. Uh, a lot of people ask me, uh, are you a licensed aircraft mechanic? And I'm not. Uh, I'm just a licensed pilot. Um, I can't legally do these. I can't, do, uh, you know, rebuild the wing and put the fabric on the wing. And I can't, I can't do that stuff without the supervision of a licensed mechanic. And uh, three of my neighbors are, uh, are good friends of mine. They're all licensed mechanics, and two of the three are also, uh, they have inspector authorization. And it'll be their, their signatures that go in the logbooks at the end of this. That, uh, and they're very involved in the process all the way through. Um, so no, you can't just buy an old airplane and fix it up yourself. You have to, you have to be under the supervision of a licensed mechanic. And uh, man, I'm very fortunate to have the help of these guys. Um, they helped me also maintain my Bonanza. And before that, I had a mall, and uh, they helped with that. And uh, I've just learned so much along the way. It's made it fun, it's made it so much more affordable, and uh, a big debt of gratitude to uh, you guys, and you know who you are, so uh, thanks a lot. Uh, just this last week, one of them was helping me with, uh, he was installing the, uh, the throttle and mixture cables. Another one of them was helping me with installing all these tapes that go on top of the ribs. Uh, they're called reinforcing tapes, and they go below the, the wire clips. And he helped me uh, get a chalk line and get all those nice and straight and lay them all down. And the other one, uh, let me borrow his wing rotisserie that he built himself for his uh, Piper Cub restoration. Uh, he used an engine mount and cobbled together some, some angle iron and uh, made a really nice tool that, that I can use to mount my wing in and rotate it around to different positions. It really makes uh, doing all this work on it a lot easier and a lot faster. So a uh, big shout out to you three guys. I, I really appreciate your help. And uh, let's start off. We'll take a look at this rotisserie and then we'll get into the progress that we've made. So here's a good look at the wing rotisserie. As you can see, it's a homemade job. Um, and I'm not sure how they made that round tube, but it, uh, it's a square tube that's been bent into a circle. But uh, basically there's, there's two rollers in that channel down there. And I can rotate the wing in that channel. And on this other end, you can see the other pivot point. And I can just put a pin in this hole right here. And that'll lock it in position and I can I can get some uh, some good work done. And it just bolts right up here to the uh, the fittings where this is where the wing bolts to the fuselage on the airplane. And then uh, on the other side, it attaches where the struts attach to the wing. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm starting uh, what would be rib stitching on a normal airplane is going to be uh, using this wire clip on the tailor craft. I've got one installed, and I'll show you how I'm doing that with the other ones. See the wire running along the holes in the rib? And uh, at first, I have to install that tape. It's a uh, reinforcing tape on top of the rib. And then I use a, uh, a little wood burning tool to burn... Uh, burn through the fabric where the holes are so that the clip can go into the, the holes. But uh, here I'll show you how that works. All right, so you see it just uh, goes right in the holes here. Melts those. Uh, leaving a nice round circle and it makes, uh, makes it really easy to put that clip in place. So I'll keep doing that and then I'll touch back with you when I'm going to put the clips in. All right, so here you can see the Taylor Craft wire clip that replaces the rib stitching. Uh, I've already started on this rib. You can see the holes, and I'm just clipping this wire into those holes. Let me see if we can. Uh, Kind of 
kind of squeeze the wire together and press it in and then it uh, grabs it on that little hook. work our way all the way down each rib and, uh, only 25 more to go <laughs> all right took me about an hour and a half to get the bottom done but uh, I've got all the rib wires across the bottom so I got to burn the holes in the top and put the rib wires on top but uh, that's quite a bit faster than tying all those knots uh, one thing I also forgot to mention, I, uh, other, earlier today I added these um, little reinforcement uh, circles. They're called doilies. Um, they just uh, they clean up where uh, you have to cut a hole and uh, give you reinforcement for any kind of wear that happens there. You see I've got it on the fuel drain as well. There's one down here where these wires come out. And you can also see these doilies here uh, also made a little aluminum plate to kind of clean it up and make a nice fit around these strut attached fittings. All right, so I'm finished with the wire clips. This is the top of the wing. You can see each rib has the clip all the way down. And again, that replaces the rib stitching. And I, I did uh, one side in a couple hours uh, one afternoon, and the other side in a couple hours in another afternoon. So it, it went a lot faster than tying all, that, all those knots. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to draw lines on uh, each rib for a two inch finishing tape, kind of like we did on the ailerons. And that tape will go right down each rib, cover up uh, that wire and the other reinforcing tape, make a nice smooth surface. Um, it's more aerodynamic and obviously seals it to the elements and all that sort of stuff as well. And once those tapes are on here, it's time for primer and paint on this wing. But it'll probably go into the wing rack and I will get the other wing here and get started on that. So really it took me maybe, if I were working full time, maybe a week's worth to do a fabric on one wing. Um, I've, I've, I've got to go back to my normal work schedule for July though so we'll see how much work gets done hopefully I can get it uh, get this wing finished up and we start painting here uh, July August maybe I'd like to fly it by this fall it would be great but uh, making a little progress so uh, thanks for stopping by flying with Brian and uh, hope to see you next time with another update